Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy. Coming at you again with another video. Um, hopefully, I won't be before you long. So, at this time, if you will please grab your Bibles, your scriptures, and join me in the book of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah, chapter. Eight, and we will only be looking at the first three verses. The book of Nehemiah, chapter eight, the first three verses. I will be doing my reading from the um, King James Version. Before we get started, let me first of all give all the honor, praise, and glory to the Most High, Yah, the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And to Yahuwah be all the praise, honor, and glory, because besides him there is no other. He is our Savior, our Redeemer, our King. And without him, we are nothing, and we have nothing. So just remember who we give all the honor, glory, and praise to, Israel. It's the Yahuwah, our Maker, and no other. Hallelujah. Now let us get started. In the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, we like as, as I said before, we will only look at the first three verses. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra, the scribe, to bring the book of the law of Moses, which Yehoah had commanded to Israel. And Ezra, the priest, brought the law before the congregation, both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate from the morning until midday, before the men and the women and those that could understand and the ears of all the people were attentive, were attentive unto the books, unto the book of the law. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yah. Um, I've been listening on, on DVD to the Bible experience. And the Bible experience, if you do not know, is um, a dramatic reading of it. It was done a few years ago by a group of well-known um, singers, um, pastors, actors, where they came together to do this um, dramatic reading or rendering of the Bible. So I was listening, and my first, my, my, my wife got me on it because she was looking um, at Nehemiah chapter nine. But I wanted to go a little bit I wanted to start at eight. And when I read eight, I just saw something that really got my attention. I just wanted to share it with you, my family. Hallelujah. So this is some of the things I believe that we need to return to. Because as I shared with somebody today, we play a part in our redemption. We have a role to play in the liberation of our people. We have a role to play in our own rescue. And it starts with our choice to return to Yah. It starts when we do Teshuvah, when we repent and turn back to Yah. Our redemption draws nigh. And when I say return to Yah, we have to understand that returning to Yah includes keeping his Torah. So that's why um, I like in verse one, it said, and all the people gathered themselves together as one man, meaning all the people came together. They all verged into one area for one purpose, and that it was to get the man of God, the priest the scribe Ezra 
to bring out the scroll, to bring out the book of the law that Yahuwah gave to Moses to give to our ancestors. These people wanted to hear the Torah. They wanted to hear the instructions. They wanted to hear what is it that we are required to do as a people. That is what they wanted to hear. And they came on one accord. They came on a mission. And that was to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. In verse 2, and it said, Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. Now, the first day of the seventh month was a, a holy day. And they came together on the first day of the month to hear the word of the Most High God. And Ezra being a priest. Now, this is one that I want to share with you. A lot of people think that the only thing the priests did were sacrifices. The people did not gather for Ezra to do a sacrifice. They came to Ezra, the priest, so that he will do his main role, which is to teach the people, which is to bring them clarity and understanding of the Torah. We have to understand the priests are to bring the people closer to Yah. And that doesn't come through sacrifices. That comes through teaching, joining unto them the Torah, the divine instructions of Yahuwah. Now they have a role to play in sacrifices, but the main role of the priest is not sacrifice. And we see this here in this chapter. The people came to Ezra to unroll the scrolls, to open up the book so that they could hear what is required of them. Not so that he could slaughter a calf on their behalf. That was what they were coming for. Um, verse three. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate from the morning until the midday. Before the men and the women, those that could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law, unto the book of the Torah. The people was, was attentive. They was not easily distracted, distracted because they came on one agenda. They came on one accord, and that was to hear what are their requirements as the people of the most high. And we see he 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 read it to them. And, and um instantly he just read it to them and gave clarity and gave understanding to them. And this is I believe if we as the people of Yaqo wake up and have a love in our hearts. And when I say our hearts I'm talking about our mind. That we could open up our minds and point it towards the direction of Yahuwah, which includes his Torah. We have to get away from this understand this mindset of I'm going to run to God. I don't have nothing to do with his own commandments. Those are outdated. They're irrelevant. I don't have nothing to do with them. I just want God. It doesn't work that way, my people. The commandments come with Yahuwah. Yahuwah comes with commandments. It's a package deal. You, you cannot come to Yahuwah on your own terms. We must come to him according to his design. And he designed that we cling to him and to his Torah. And that is what these people were striving to do. They're coming out of exile. They're, they're leaving um a place that they was exiled to and they're coming back to their homeland. And in the midst of this, they want to know the words of Yah. They want to hear the Torah. And that is where we must get to as a people. We must come as one man. 
we must come in one accord to hear the law of Jehovah more than anything else. We have to get a better understanding of what is required of us as a people. And if we can do as these, as these people did, our ancestors did, and come together for the sole purpose of hearing the Torah so that we can apply it in our lives and become one and get one step closer to our redemption, one step closer to our homeland, one step closer to the prize, our victory, where Yah will redeem us from all this folly, but we play a part, my people, in our redemption. And we need to take on this mindset that our ancestors had. This is all I wanted to share at this time. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, a.k.a. Tommy Todd. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time, peace.